Mr. Supreme here with another Transformers toy review. This time we're looking at uh, Piranicom. He's a combiner. Um, this is a limited edition uh, version of the Seacon, so reissue. I picked this up off eBay not long ago. I can pick him up for thirty, forty pounds, something like that. Um, really good value. Um, old generation one toy. If you really good. I mean, look, you can see from the start, really vibrant colours, really stands out. You've got this chrome here, he's got a huge head here as well um, and he's, he kind of stands quite well. Um, with these combiners it's always difficult kind of moving all the joints and bit on, on him. He's, you know, he's clicky so things do hold in place. I find our hands here sometimes do fall off and the legs be a little bit more stable but compared to some of the other combiners um, like Superion for example he's pretty steady on his feet so this is him in combined mode uh, so altogether you've got um, six Piranicons Seacon sorry uh, this one is Piranicon and the sixth one is actually his gun here so this is overbite okay there's a repaint of this one which is a Japanese Beast Wars figure. I think he's called God Neptune as well. Um, and the difference with that one is it doesn't come with the sixth figure here, so it's just the five figures. So yeah, I like it for that reason. I don't know if you can, you can probably swap some of these guys around, perhaps, and have someone else as the gun, perhaps. Um, with it as well, what you do get, I'll just be, pop his hand back in a second. What you do get is a whole uh, bag full of goodies with all of their weapons and they also come with these little uh, stands here as well which you can then um, pop them on top of remember how they go so you pop these on there and you actually pop them on these stands and you make little guns out of them i never really saw the point of them to be honest with you one thing i've Got to mention as well is this bit of uh, scalor has come off as well so you just see at the back the what's happened is the actual pins come out of it so i need to sort that out as well they come with uh, these kind of tech spec cards as well so i'll just show you this is Piranicon, so you can see he's got some really good artwork going on there and then if i turn it over on the back here Okay, got that. A little bit of the bio, and then you've got some text specs there as well if you need to pause it. And I've got that for all the other ones, so I'll show you that as well. On the uh, back here as well, you've got a picture of them all together, all combined, and all of them individually in both their modes as well with their weapons as well. You do as well get um, a little bit about the character at the top and again his text back at the top there which is good so let's get on with it um, I'll show you first of all as this one's already here I'll show you get this one transformed so nice and easy so I've just taken the gun out of the bottom of that one fold his head uh, the back of this down like so pull his head up like that which was his a handle towards the gun and pop the gun in his hand. There you go. Close up. Um, these guys got tiny, tiny little heads. But they come with all their stickers on. Very nice. The kind of articulation in these these ones are kind of limited, as you expect with a Generation One toy. They can move his arm all the way around. Got a bend here as well. Uh, legs, there isn't really any articulation. There's a bend there. So I guess you can move that forward and back. And to transform him back, very easy. Like this. Fold that in. Like that. Let's move his arms out of the way. And push this in. See his mouth opens as well. You can move his 
little arms like this. So for some reason he's a he's a shark with feet and some claws. So there he is. Pretty decent, isn't he? Again, got some nice detail with the stickers on, and you can pop his gun on underneath here if you like. And for some reason, his gun doesn't want to hold in there very well. So that's him. And I think, I'm not sure how these ones go in. I've not even. not you put them on these little stands like that I can't remember I need to have a look at the instructions on that one I thought you put them on like guns I guess these could be used as guns also I guess I don't know if these this gun can fit in anywhere kind of fit underneath them if you want to and I expect he could probably hold it in his hand as well so they've all got these these ones as well and pop that in his hand. Yeah, so he can actually hold that in his hand. It's quite a big gun for him. In fact, it's longer than his arm, but hey ho. Right, so that's one done, that's overbite. And just to show you his tech spec as well. Sorry, not the camera there. Let's get that one out. Where is it? There. That's it. Ever buy? There you go. So that's some generation one, generation one artwork of him. And then come over here, and this is his bio, along with his tech spec as well. There you go. So that's that one done. Next up, if I take the sword out, I must, might as well show you Scalor. I mentioned he's broken. So that, this is the nice glittering sword that comes with him. And that's the sword also for uh, some, like, the leader of the gang, a snap trap. So I'll show you that a bit later as well. So again, I've taken them off. It's here, so he just plugs in into there. Pop his head up. There you go, and then pull his arms out here. God, oh, these are really stiff. That's a real job to get those out without, without breaking your nails. Let's see if I can use his guns to uh, to pull those out, perhaps. so tight in there I can't actually get that out for now. Pull this off at the bottom here. Now you've got him in robot mode. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me there. I cannot for the life of me pull that out without snapping my nails off. I'll give it one last try. Oh, Jesus. That is hard. Don't want to break this sword now, I won't try that. Right, you'll have to have to make do. So then I'll just check I've got the right guns with him. Yeah. I oh, know it's these ones here. It's ones that plug into each other. So we'll try it with that one actually. And look, that's how tight that hand is. I've just tried to put that in there and that's actually come off in his hand. So that's really annoying. There you go. So you can see, there he is with the guns in his hand. He would have two guns in his hand, but that's snapped off. 
I'll get that out somehow. I'll just hook it out with a little knife or something. And then we can do some super clean magic. Nice figure, quite bulky. And then to transform him, take this out carefully. Don't need to fold that one up. Fold this one back up. Again, it's quite hard to get back in. I uh, use the back of this here, put that in. So it does still plug in, but I just need to get something to pull that in there. Then you fold his legs in and push the head in. And then again with this one, you can open his mouth if you want to as well. And he stands up. There he is like that, so it's like a pretty decent. That's that one. I'll show you his tech spec as well. Scalar. There's a picture of him there. This is his bio, if you want to pause it there. And here's his tech spec. Speed three, not very quick that one. Next up, I like this one. Hopefully this one won't break on me. Pull his arm out here, it's a little bit loose. So there's a couple of things I've noticed. Either There's either a couple of things that are loose or incredibly tight. So on this one, what you do is just pull these bits down like this, which then become his legs. Push this bit in here, so that comes into his tummy. Pull this bit down. Pull these bits down, become his arms, pull that back, and then you've got him in robot mode. Uh, he does come with a couple of guns as well. So he's got two black guns here. So you just pop those in his hands. There you go. Pretty cool. And Transform him. He's transformed into like a, a stingray. Put these forward. Swap, move these around like this. Same on the other side. Pull him down, swing him around, push him back in, and then that way. Fold the wings down like that. There you go, you've got him in that mode there. And then what you can do is you can put his guns actually underneath. Oh, where's his other one? Like that. There you go. And again, this one, he's a biter. You've got this bit on the front here as well. I don't think you can put anything into that. Possibly again, if you want to pop him on that stand, you can pop this into him and make him into a massive gun. There you go, like that. And just to show you his bio as well. Get him standing up. And his is over here. So this is C Wing. So you get a card with. Some artwork on there, and then you turn him back over, and then you've got a little bit of a bio. Let's see if that focuses up. Brilliant. Okay. So I'll just show you all of that, and then underneath his technical data as well. Okay. Only a few more to go through, so just show you all of those as well. The other thing to mention is on Scalar as well, you can put the guns on the back in as well. I've got those two little holes there where you can pop those in as well. So next up, I'll move all these bits out of the way, pop this down, let's have a look at the leg here, and we've got 10 to kill, so taking them off here, and he's nearly already transformed, just pop this off here, and all I need to do is move his arms forward, and pop some guns in his hand, and he is done. It's probably one of my favourite ones actually. There you go. And transform them. Easy enough. 
pop the guns out of his hand, pop his arms down like that, pop these bits out which can be his tentacles, then fold this bit down, again that's really tight, it feels like it's going to snap, fold this bit in and push it down, fold this bit down, back down, there you are. Got him in octopus mode or squid. And then you can pop the guns on either side, like so. There you go. So there's some really good detail around here. The blue and the black really shows up nicely. Got all this detail around here with its fangs and everything else like that. So that's that one done, and I'll show you his card as well. So that one's ten to kill, and then on the back here, there you go. You've got his bio here, so he's actually a squid, and there's his tech spec here. So he's actually quite a strong strength of an eight on that one. Uh, two more, so we've got uh, a Nautilator, so this guy, pretty easy to transform as well. Just pull this leg off here, and he's pretty much already transformed. So all you do then is pop his guns in his hands, see which, oh yeah, I remember the gun that he comes with. This little grey one here. The only thing with this one, I didn't, not so keen on robot mode because his head's quite far back here. Transform nice and easy. Similar to Tentacle, you fold up his legs, feed into his body, push that in like that, pull his legs out from the back here, pull his head forward like that, so he's in like that, and then you can pop these on. It's really cool in that mode, I think. You can open his mouth up as well, and you can pop the gun in his mouth. Like that. Okay. And we have got a picture of him here. On the back here as well. Let's get that to focus, come on, there we go. Got his bio here, so he changes into a lobster. And that's his technical data as well. Last up, the leader of the gang, we've got Snap Trap. So once you've taken all of them off, you should be left with that. Take this bit off, take his head off, and then Hold these down like this. Gotcha. Hold his arms around like this. And the elbows forward. And there you go. Got him in robot mode. And he does come with two gun, two weapons. He's got sword here, which if I can try and fit it into his hand I will, don't want to break anything else. Again that's, there you go. I've got it into one arm, like that, so I've got this huge sword on him, and he's also got a very big gut here as well. So his right hand doesn't seem to want to get this gun in properly. I do know it does go in. Let's try it in his other hand. The sword pit. I don't know. Yeah. So actually, 
on this one I found that doesn't uh, this doesn't fit so well here so I need to have a look at that there you go very good in robot mode he is slightly larger than the rest so let's transform him back into um, his uh, kind of beast mode if you like he put his arms forward like it was leave his head round like that you can see he's starting to sh take shape now pull his legs into here like that then pull these bits down so far you think oh that doesn't look quite right so then what you do is you get this bit here which was his chest plate move these bits around pop that into the back like that there we go got him his mode like that you can move these bits back with the forward like this as well and you can pop the gun on the top as well yeah so uh, overall oh last thing I forgot to show you is this guy's bio as well snap trap just quickly show you his bio as well so he turns into a turtle and he's the strongest out of the lot a strength of nine but a speed only of two there you go overall really impressed with these guys uh, there's a few little um, you can see a few teething problems I don't know whether that's because um, it's a mold that's been used before um, it's a reissue or you know they've been spent ages in the box so they're a little bit brittle I don't know so there's two bits like a few bits I've snapped off already so this bit here this bit came out of here and the bit that I showed I snapped in his hand as well there's a few bits a little bit harder and with him it's going to fits into one hand but not the other so there's a little bit of difference there but for value for money and um, like I said you probably pick these up for about 30 40 pounds for a set a combiner set generation one reissue or not well worth the money don't forget guys please subscribe like my channel um, comment let me know if there's any others that you'd like to see soon uh, sorry it's been a bit of a long video um, I figured it was easy just to get it all done in one one bit uh, let me know if there's any other uh, things you want me to review and uh, see you soon guys alright then thanks <laughs>